Hello kiddos, Sir is here. For this video, we will talk about how to draw the ray diagrams of images formed by concave and convex lenses. <laughs> First, let's describe what lenses are. Lenses bend light and form images. Compared to mirror, lenses works by bending the light, wherein it involves the process called refraction. Always remember that in mirror, the involved process is reflection, while for lenses, it involves refraction or bending of light. We have two main types of lens. The first one is what we call concave lenses, or it is also known as diverging lenses. They are thin in the middle and thickest around the edge. When light rays parallel to the principal axis pass through a concave lens, they are bent outward or diverge. It is the main reason why it is called diverging lenses. When we say diverging, it means that it spreads out the light. As you can see, the light rays here spread out as it has contact with the concave lens. And you have to remember that the image form by concave lenses are always virtual, upright, and reduced. How about the second type? We call it convex lenses, or it is also known as converging lenses. They are thickest in the middle and thin round the edge. When light rays parallel to the principal axis pass through a convex lens, they are bent inwards, and so it causes convergence. The images formed by convex lenses can be virtual or real, with reduced, magnified, or sometimes same size. For us to know the characteristics of images formed by convex lenses, we have to get familiarized ourselves with some terminologies. This is the usual ray diagram used to determine the characteristics of images formed by convex lenses. The first term that we have to know is the optical center, which is represented by a capital O, the point through which all light rays pass without being bent. And it is located here at the very center. The second term or concept is the principal focus, which is represented by a capital F. This is the point where light rays converge. If you can see, we have two Fs, here and here, because usually we are using biconvex lenses. The third concept is the principal axis, which is represented by a capital P. This is the line joining the optical center and the principal focus. Here in the diagram, this is our principal axis. The last term that you have to know is the focal length, or represented by a small letter F. This is the distance from the optical center to the principal focus. So, we have it here. Now that you are familiar with the basic parts of the ray diagram, let us discuss now the steps on how we draw the ray diagram for convex lenses. Once more, we are using by convex lenses. And for this diagram, our object is represented by this downward arrow with purple color. Let's have step number one. A ray passes through the optical center. 
This is represented by the blue line. And it looks like this. That is our first step. Second step is a ray parallel to the principal axis. So again, a red line will appear representing this step. Passes through the F after leaving the lens. So that's how you do it. And lastly, step number three. A ray through F leaves the lens. Parallel to the principal axis. And there you have it. We are done with the three basic steps on how to draw the ray diagram for convex lenses. You have to take note that the intersection of light rays is where the image is formed. And it is somewhere here. And the image looks like this. Having this ray diagram, let us now discuss the characteristics of the images that is formed for this case. And this is our case number three. Object is between 2F and F. Let's describe this image based on the following. Size, attitude, location, and type. For the size, as you see, it is magnified. The attitude or orientation, it is inverted. Its location is formed outside 2F. And lastly, its type, since it is inverted, it is a real image. Just like what I have said, this is our case number three. And we have five cases to solve. The first one is when the object is placed outside 2F. And it looks like this. Second case is the object at 2F. And it appears like this. The third case was already given as an example. So let's proceed to case number four. Object at F. And it looks like this. And lastly, our fifth case is we are placing the object beyond F. And it appears like this. Applying what you have learned from this video, you have to determine or draw the ray diagram of these four cases. And later on, determine the characteristics of the images formed by convex lenses at these situations or position. And that's it. We are done. I hope you learned how to draw the ray diagram for convex lenses. And watch my next video to check your answers for the activity presented in this video. I hope to see you again in my next teach vlog. Bye-bye and God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>